It stinks in here. <gasps> Smells to me like you're swimming in shit over there, dumbass. Who's there? Who's that? Hey, get these things off me. Where am I? For God's sake, keep it quiet. Shut your trap. Who the hell are you? Do yourself a favor and shut the fuck up. Or at least keep your voice down. Trust me. You don't want the guards coming in here sticking their filthy peckers in your mouth to keep it quiet for you. Who are you? Name's Jarvis, Gordon Jarvis. I'm going through the same pain that you're going through. What's your name? I'm Randall Smythe. Where am I? You don't know? Really? You at the end of the line, my brother. You at the end of the line. Welcome to the block. Oh, God. The block? It does exist. <laughs> yeah, but it's real. I brought your ass in here two hours ago and I was wondering if you was ever going to wake up. I wish I had, man. I heard that. Might have been lucky if you hadn't. That's all I'm saying. So, how'd you wind up down here? They had me working on a farm upstate. <clears throat> What'd they get you for? Vagrancy. Vagrancy. <laughs> Some lowlife steals my ID. Can you believe that? Believe you me, buddy. I just see a whole lot of people, both men and women. You get a whole lot more time than that. We talk about life without the law. Lock them up and throw away the key. That's not gonna make me feel any better. You ain't supposed to. Just give me the facts, man. Give me the facts. Well, when I was robbed, I reported to the authorities. And they fucking locked me up. They locked me up, man. Yeah. That's about par for the course. I was in detention for 15 months. They had me working the furnace room in the crematorium. 18 hours a day, man. Well, it is what it is, you know what I'm saying? But what I can't figure out, you must have pissed somebody off to high heaven for them to ship your ass down here in the block. When it's harvest season, for Christ's sake, they need every strong back they can get out there in them fields. You still got a blindfold on and you're wearing handcuffs. Sounds to me that you was trying to uh, make a run for it. <laughs> Am I right or wrong? I knew it. Should have known better. What? And spend the rest of my life in prison for some bullshit vagrancy charge? No way, man. So you better make a run for it and get caught and wind up here. <laughs> Darn ass. I don't want to feel sorry for you. I'm to laugh at your ass. Yeah, well, I don't need your pity right now, man. <clears throat> All right.
kind of farm did they have yard over there? Was it Gateway or Northburg? Which one was it? Kingston. Kingston? Ha 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 ha. that's hell on earth. Maximum security. Hard labor, brutal guards. And the disease. Oh my god, the disease. That's got to be a, a hell hole in this entire system. I didn't hear horror stories about that place, I'll tell you that much. But any one of these prisons is just as bad, I guess. But it isn't bad. Yeah, man. Whatever you heard, it's a lot worse. A hell of a lot worse. Uh, well, it ain't as bad as the block, I'll tell you that much. You done jumped out the frying pan and into the fire, you know that boy? <laughs> you are death row now, for real. I know. God, I know. Yeah, I want to admit to you. You all go on and cry. Get it out of you. Get it all out of your system now. Because when they come for you, you don't want to give those bastards up there the pleasure of seeing you do it. Go on and cry. How could this happen? We had a plan. We had a rock solid plan. It was rock solid. Seems to me like I've heard that story before. Always has the same ending. I got a hold of some blueprints. They were under a loose block under my bunk. They had to be a hundred years old. And they were good. They were real good. Everything that was supposed to be there was right there. Uh, it sounds to me like whoever planted that map didn't get a chance to use it. Well, right after work detail, after the head count, we snuck away. We made it through some air shaft down into the sewer system. It took us out past the perimeter, right past the motion detectors. <coughs> Who's the weed you talking about? My cellmate. His name was Joshua, and we planned this thing out for five months, this escape. It was perfect, man. So what happened to your friend? I don't know. Once the sirens went off, we split up. Maybe he got away. Maybe he didn't. Why, in my opinion, he's either dead somewhere or in a cell just like you are. I tried. I could not run them guards with them dogs. Oh, God, the dogs! <sighs> it's them dogs. Those bloodhounds. Bloodhounds are the worst. They'll sniff you out every time. Trust me, I know. I've been stuck out here doing time for better than 20 years now. I can see it all. So what's your story, Gordon? How'd you end up here? How did I end up here? It is what it is, you know what I'm saying? Damn government regulations, if you want to know the truth about it. The annual census bureau concluded that our sector was overcrowded. So they picked 50 names. And I hit the lotto. <laughs> Lucky me. Maybe 
behind these bars now for damn near 20 years. Man, that sucks. Yeah, where it is, where it is. When I was young, I did some time over there at Summerlin. Medical experiments, mostly. <laughs> Guinea pig, one of the two tonight. Doctors poking and prodding. And after they turn your ass into a pincushion, they ship you off somewhere else. I wound up at Gateway, working in fields, picking up crops. Yeah, crops my ass. And then I spent the next four years shipping out stuff over there to salvage plant down there. Sugar Hills, or whatever the fuck the name of that place was. So how'd you end up here? Here on the block? If you take a look at me, I'm 57 years old. You know what that means? Time's up. When you turn 57, they're through with you. End of the line. They ship you to the block. Execution, extermination. Get rid of your ass, but you finished when you come to the block. Where is here exactly? Where are we? Damn if I know. They had me blindfolded just like you when they brought me in here. And he ain't got no windows. I don't know where the fuck we at. Has anybody ever escaped? <laughs> He's a funny motherfucker. Escape? Well, nobody escaped from the block. Only way you leave the block is in a bag. You know, there used to be a time when a man could die of old age on death row. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Not no more. Things were different back then. Only real criminals sat in cells like this waiting on death. And even then they had, they had court systems, trials, appeals, phase of execution. And that's bullshit, Gordon. No, 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 it's true. It's true. Back before our time, America was a free country. People had rights. Even had a voice in the government, a representation. It's more like fairy tales. Uh, I know it sounds like a fairy tale. But it's true. My grandfather used to carry me around telling me stories and whatnot. Showed me books. That was before the government destroyed them all. Before the war. Before the bombs. Before the godless terrorists set the world on fire. And now look at us. Over fifty-eight percent of us are stuck in places like this in confinement. Very well. It is what it is, you know what I'm saying? So how long before? You know. Before they execute us? Yeah.
Hard to tell. Could be here in the next hour. Or well, maybe in a few weeks. I've been here two days now. And other than the guards breaking your sorry ass in here a couple of hours ago, I ain't seen nary a soul. I done heard screams of coming from down them halls. Yeah. Waiting around helpless. That's the worst part. But either way, it ain't gonna be long. You know what I'm saying? How do you think they'll do it? Damn if I know. They ain't gonna shoot us, I can tell you that much. They don't want to waste the ammo. <laughs> they might hang us, though. We'll set our asses on fire. I didn't heard things like that going on around here. You know what I'm saying? I didn't heard a lot of stories about the block. But either way, it ain't going to be pretty. You ain't going to be free. I guess not. I just wish I could see my wife and son again. My Melanie's so beautiful. I can't see her face. I can't. I can't remember what she looks like. My son, he's 10 now, he's a man, he'll be getting working papers, I'll, I'll never see him again, I just wish, I just wish I had a little while longer with him. Do you have any regrets? Regrets? <laughs> no, no, no regrets. Regrets are for people who have choices. People like us? They don't give us a chance to act. Only react. Well, when they come for me, I'm going to spit right in their faces. <laughs> Ain't you the scrappy one with the venom and the vigor? <laughs> spit in their faces. You remind me of myself. I was about your age. Yeah. First time they throw me in a cage. You know, I like you, Wayne. Another world, another set of circumstances. We could have been friends. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but that ain't happening no more. I'm too old now. Too tired. I really just want to get it all over with. You know what I'm saying? What, Gordon? What is it? Let's start. You best make your peace with God now, son.
What is she doing here? This ain't no place for a little girl. Hey, step back, J981. And keep the comments to yourself. Is this it? It's slim pickings. People are starting to stock up for the winter. God. No, Jesus, no. Not like this, man. Not like this. What going home? Hey, keep quiet down there. Listen, take her home now, please. Don't let her see us. Come on, man. Shut up. Okay, sweetheart. Which one do you like? Yummy. <laughs> Excellent choice. We'll take that one, the dark one. Very good, sir. Crack seven and take them, boys. Oh, my Jack! You don't fucking eat us alive! One! Two! Random! Guess who's coming to dinner? Go ahead! Go ahead! Or I'll come in there and I'll put something in your mouth to shut you up. Hey, Peterson, get the hose and clean up number eight before any more buyers come in. He stinks. Hey, what's going on? Talk to me, Gordon! Now settle down, lunch meat. Eat shit, you asshole! Oof. You throw shit on me? You're gonna pay for that. <laughs> what? What are you gonna do? You're gonna kill me anyway, so go fuck yourself! No, fuck you, buddy boy! Hey, Peterson, forget the hose. Get the dogs and crack eight. It's chow time.